Hey everybody, Aaron here. Welcome back to another anime review. Today we look at a series that I like to call the series with a lot of potential that was all wasted. Let's talk about Dimension W. Now, Dimension W, let's get right off the bat, is one of those shows that you will go into expecting a lot from it. And I would say if you are expecting a lot from it, stop right away before watching it. This is one of those things that, I, from what I hear, the manga is supposedly a lot better. I'm not saying that the, I know for a fact the manga is better. I'm not saying that, but I, from what I hear, a lot of people say that the manga is way, way better. So, I will say probably if you're one of those people that like to compare anime and manga together, and you know, say ad adaptations are worse or negative or etc. or whatever, you might want to stick with the manga. I mean, the manga is not fully done yet. It started in 2011. It's still going. It's past 11 volumes right now. Um, the anime finished. It started in January and finished in. Uh, March of 2016, so it's you know it's not that old a series, but yeah, I would say stay away from this. I'll say that right now. Now, does it mean this this is gonna get a failing grade? Hell no, this is not gonna get a failing grade. But I I do want to talk about let's let's well besides anything, let's talk about the story synopsis first, and then I'll get into the negatives and positive etc. So the story is kind of a very simple concept. In the future, humanity has found essentially a new dimension. And in this dimension, they have found unlimited energy, something that they've never seen before. This energy is clean, it's pure, it's super powerful. And so what they end up doing is they end up making things called coils and naming this dimension Dimension W. Now with these coils, using the Dimension W's energy, they're able to do a vast amount of different things in the future. They're able to make robots, they're able to make automotives that work on a different type of energy system, they're able to make other means of going to work via, you know, like different transportation methods, etc. They're able to do a million and one things. Now, of course, with the advancement of technology in this sense, the one bad thing about it is that we do have those who wish to use it in bad ways. Thus, we have, you know, the various you know, police departments and various things kind of struggling with getting rid of the kind of criminal aspects of it or having to deal with all that. But what we focus on in this is Besides even that, we focus on a collector named Kioma. Now his job is kind of to track down illegal coils, to help out, you know, find missing people, etc. He is your like everyday mercenary type guy. And he hates the new technology. He is one of those people that still will drive old gasoline cars. He doesn't really like using a lot of technology. His place is an old gas station. That's where he lives actually, ironically enough. And he ends up on one day running into uh, this girl named Mira, who's not your typical girl. She's actually an android with superhuman abilities and very lifelike abilities and, and, in general, almost mirrors a real person. And when these two meet, everything from there starts going into this kind of further story elements. Like, obviously, then they start going on missions together, and then we start learning about both of their background stories. Like, what, why is Mira so advanced as an android? What was Kiyoma's past? Why does he hate technology as of now? Who are these new villains, etc.? This is the, one of those shows that everything will be explained in 12 episodes, right? No. Everything is not explained in 12 episodes, plus an OVA. I did not watch the OVA, by the way, mind you. Um, I have no idea what the OVA entitles or what it does. I unfortunately was not able to do that. I even know until recently that there was an OVA for it. But, um, you know, if you if, if you guys want it, I'll do a review for it. Just leave in the comments below if you want me to do a review for the OVA. Maybe the OVA does something that's really good. I don't know, but I will say this. Dimension W hits a lot of high notes in terms of animations and art. That is one of the things that you will stay for Dimension W to watch. In terms of everything, animation and art is awesome in the show. You know, one thing I love is this looks like something from Studio Bones almost in a way. It is not done by them. It's done by Studio 3HZ slash Orange. Um, so I'm not really 100% sure what works they've done before. I mean, you guys in the comments can tell me what works they've done before. But it does look a lot like something from Studio Bones. I really do appreciate the animation and the art. I love the character design. I think it's all very unique and very interesting. And a kind of mixture of between of um, current age and also futuristic elements. So I do appreciate that. But that's kind of where my appreciation kind of stops. Well, I mean... We'll also talk about one more thing I think that's positive. I think we could also talk about the voice acting, which I think is stellar. I love the voice actors. They all do a great job of kind of portraying the characters that they're in. If you watch this in Japanese, um, what's awesome about that English subtitle, of course, is that the English actors really did a good job of kind of, you know, at least the, the studios that helped, you know, make the uh, voice actors 
in the roles that they're in really did a good job of kind of mimicking what they sound like in Japanese in many ways. So the main character Kiyoma in both English and Japanese actually sounds pretty close. I mean, it just sounds like someone now talking English and vice versa talking Japanese. I think they, that was one of the cool things about the show. Um, music wise, the opening's awesome. The ending, depending on what you're watching this on, because if you watch this on Toonami, the ending was changed from the ending in Japanese, and I'm not 100% sure I even remember what the Japanese ending sounded like to begin with, but they both are pretty good, so the music overall for the show is very well done also. That's unfortunately where my positives stop for the show. Um, everything else from here is kind of negative, to be honest. One of the biggest issues with Dimension W is that, like I said before in the beginning of this review, is that it has a lot of wasted potential. Everything that could be explained further, like the the villains that you'll meet of, along the lines, they'll never fully go into details about them. They'll explain it really fast as well as they can, but it's never fully explored or kind of looked at. That's one of the biggest issues. Even the characters' background stories. Like, Kiyoma gets a very interesting background story that I feel that could have been, you know, fleshed out more, but because it's only 12 episodes, they had to kind of rush it into kind of cram it into, like, a few episodes near the end with some kind of tidbits in along the way to kind of show, oh, why he hates coils and why he hates androids, etc. like that. Um, I just feel like this overall, this whole show is rushed. That's like the best way I can describe the issues with it. And because it's rushed, everything else kind of takes a hit from it. Because the story, the characters, the plot, all feel very, very extravagant. And feel like they're not fully ever kind of developed and fully explored. And that's one of the biggest issues I have with Dementia W. And, you know, that's a bad thing for a show. Because, I mean, this is a show that you want the full story. You want to know what the concepts of Coils are. You want to know about the various villains and stuff like that because the villains are interesting but you'll never know really what makes them tick 100%. You'll know the very cliched part of the story like oh and that's where I heard the manga does a lot better because the Maryland manga kind of fleshes out everything a little bit better and stronger compared to this which is understandable. I mean 11 volumes compared to 12 episodes is a big difference so that's to be sure. Um you know, and that's why I want to say Dimension W, you know, to kind of wrap up this review, is not a horrible show, mind you. It's just a show with a lot of wasted potential. That's why if I had to review the show between an A through F, I'd have to give it a solid C-. minus. You know, I'm actually very close. I'll tell you guys, honestly, this show would be like a 69.8. Like, I want to give it a D+, plus, I really do. But I'm going to do what teacher, you know, good teachers do, where they got to raise up this grade because, like, oh, you're so close to that 70, I'll give you the 70 to be nice. You know, this, this show is essentially at the precipice, though, of being lower than what it is. And that's unfortunate because I don't want to say I hate Dimension W. I didn't hate everything about it. It just took me a long time to get into it, even more so because of the kind of lackluster plot, because of all the rush jobs they did with it. It's very confusing, and that all cause, causes kind of cultivation of me not really caring about the show. I mean, it took me this long to finish it. And while I don't have, you know, exact date, of course, for you guys in terms of when I actually finished this, just note that it took me several months after it finally aired on Toonami on top of everything else to kind of finish it. So that should, that goes to show, show something right there. Anyways, guys and girls, I hope you enjoyed this review. As always, if you did, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. You know, you know whole nine. I will talk to you later. Until our paths cross together in the next review, have a blessed day, everyone. Bye-bye.